Welcome to SpacesBox.com, MichaelGouldy.com, and SpacesBox.com, and YouTube Space Acer. Hi, this is Space from SpacesBox.com, and today we're going to explain to you um, a new toy I have, and it's a Raspberry Pi Zero kit. The, the Raspberry Pi is pretty small. Um, insert the memory card, you just upside down, and it goes like that. And this is the size hard drive, and this is the Pi Zero. Pi Zero is very, very tiny. Um, you can use it for many things. Um, I'm currently using it as an ad blocker to block out um, sites that have ads on it. So, and we'll walk you through that process after the next few moments in time. Next is the regular Buster install for the Raspberry Pi. This is for Raspberry Pi Zero. You click on Downloads. You click on Raspbian. You, you go to Buster with desktop with recommended software click on download zip you click on save file and you wait till it downloads when you finish downloading you unzip it and you flash it through the etcher program that we showed you here in a second to download Etcher, you go to click on download, click save file, wait till it finishes downloading, click on it, this is in Firefox, and click I agree. Then it's ready. To select the image that you're going to select to download to the USB. First time we're going to select the Raspberry image. So we select image, we go to desktop, we go to Pi Zero, we go to Buster Full, it should say Buster Full, click on Open, change the drive you select, make sure it's your USB drive, not your hard drive, and then click Flash, and click Yes. and it should flash the USB drive. Or Mac. Um, next thing you might need is a PuTTY client. PuTTY is a way you connect through Shush to the Raspberry Pi. And you just download the installer and run the installer. Download it. And then run it. Say OK. And click on Next. Program Files. Next. Install. Click Yes, and click Finish. You should see the readme at last. It should boot. It has a little Raspberry Pi icon.
it shows you welcome to Raspberry Pi desktop if you have a Raspberry Pi 4 or faster it's a lot faster on those Raspberry Pis Pi 0 is a little bit slower okay it's a lot slower Next, you, you see the arrow from your mouse cursor. Then you get your screen that you got what says, Welcome to the Raspberry Pi. Welcome to the desktop. You click Next. You put United States. American English or whatever country you are from. If you're from Sweden, you would use Sweden and you would check Swedish. And then the time zone that you're currently in, I'm in Los Angeles. Then you click Next. You choose your password for Pi. Something that you'll remember. Or type it in a, uh, in a password book. You click on, you type it twice, then you click on Next. Click on Next. It will select, it will then select a Wi Fi network. We're on DDWT. You type in your wireless password. You click Next. I choose, since the software we just downloaded is off the internet, we don't, and imaged it, we don't need to do an update, so we can click on Skip. Steps complete. Click later. Next, you go up to preferences. You go to Pi configuration. It has your host name. You can change that to something else if you want, but it's Raspberry Pi. It boots to the desktop. It shows auto login to Pi. And uh, splash screen is enabled. And overscan is enabled. Now, um, interfaces. I would enable both the VNC and the Shush interfaces. And then click OK. Next thing you will do is go up to the, it looks like a little black box. You click on the black box.
I clicked on it more than once, so I have to close these other ones. To find out the IP address for Shush Access, you can type if config, and that's I F C O N I G. Redo that again. That's if config is. I F C O N F I G. Sorry for the misspelling earlier. And you can see on it, this is your IP address is 192.168.3.144 on this network. You will have to use that next on the Shish Access. Hey, if you like this video, please click subscribe. Like it or not like it.